What's up guys, it's Greg, and in this video we're going to see not only how to add a page to your new WordPress blog or website, but how to put that page in a navigation menu and how to do some cool things to that page, like add a page builder such as Elementor or Site Origin Page Builder to your page so you can make it with drag and drop and you can apply templates and all sorts of easy to use features which are better than or well improvements on the standard WordPress page editor. So the first way that we all learn how to make a new page is just by hovering on the upper navigation where it says new and clicking page. Now we can go with the wonderful world of blocks if we want. We can click the plus um, or equals and I really don't even know like what this is meant for. I think WordPress was just trying to copy Squarespace. We don't want this. So if you want to get the old classic editor, which we do, so you can make websites like everyone's been doing for decades now, first thing you want to do is go to plugins. We're going to leave that page. We're going to click add new. Then we're going to search for a classic editor. All right, there you have it. Install the classic editor, activate it. And now when we go to pages, add new, which is the same as doing it from our skinny navigation at the top, we'll have the normal page editor here, which makes a ton of sense. I don't know why they made something that doesn't make sense. They spent a ton of time and resources on it, but that's beside the point. Come back down to earth if you don't mind WordPress. Okay, so we can give our page a title here, like about me and then some content. You might also want to put a featured image on your page. This is the thumbnail image that shows up wherever you have a list of pages. You can set featured image, select files. Choose any old image you have on your computer. Click set featured image. And that's pretty much all we need to know now about the new page editor in WordPress, so we can just publish. Okay, so now let's click on our site title to go back to our home page, and we'll see if we see our page. Okay, so almost all of us face the problem that our page does not show up. Where is that new page? Well, the best way to show a new page is to put it in a nav menu, so let's move on to that step. If we hover on the dashboard icon and click menus, now we can create a new menu. You just have to give it a name, like main menu, and click create menu. And then you choose your page from the left. Make sure it's checked. Click add to menu. Then make sure you check where the display location goes, like primary, and save it. Okay, so now when we visit our website, we should see a navigation menu with our page. Beautiful. And there you have our cool new page with the awesome blue overlay that the WordPress team set up for us. Super cool. You can also change the WordPress theme to something like 2017 or 2015 by going to Appearance Themes. So maybe you want to use 2017 or 2016. You can click Activate. I personally like 2016 a lot because it's a super organized blog look. And you get that little description at the top with the circle image. Now when we visit our site, we can see we still have a navigation menu and we still have our new page in the upper right. All right, so that's just how the pages will look differently on different themes and the navigation menu will look different on different themes. Right, so next up we want to learn how to use a page builder, which is an advanced way of creating WordPress pages. Even though it's not so advanced anymore because more and more people are doing it. To do this, you can just go back to the dashboard. And the most common route to use a page builder would be to go to plugins and add the new plugin for a page builder. You can click add new, and then we can just search for a page builder that people love, like Elementor. And you can install it, and you can start using it on every page or just some pages, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to take this a step further because there are some themes that work really well with Elementor Page Builder. If you're going to use that drag and drop functionality, you might as well have a theme that's made for it. So we can go to appearance themes, we can click the big blue plus, and we can search for Astra, which is probably 2019's best theme for page builders, and we can click install. Now let's activate it. And now we're gonna click Astra options. Now there's so much we can do with Astra. It's a really incredible theme, especially for beginners, because we can just click these buttons and start doing what it says. But what we wanna do now is click install importer plugin. That will give us access to the starter site templates at Astra, which are basically pre-made pages that look pretty much way more professional than a lot of us could make without a lot of practice. Not saying you couldn't make them, because I know you could and you will, but these starter site templates will really show you what's possible and get you going. So now is where we select our favorite page builder, like we've been talking about, these page builders. 
Elementor, Beaver Builder, Gutenberg, or we could even do Brizzy. So obviously it looks like Elementor because it's the first one in the list is the most popular. We're going to choose that one, but all of them are great. Once you choose Elementor, you're going to get a list of starter site templates which go with Elementor. Then you need to just choose whichever one you think would fit your business. There are so many of them, so you can probably find one that matches your niche and your look. And if it says agency, that just means it's available for a small premium from Astra. All right, so we're going to pick the yoga instructor. I've been really into yoga lately, and I love this template so much. And once you choose it, just install plugins. And once it's done, click import this site and click OK. All right, and this is probably way more page WordPress knowledge, WordPress page knowledge than you ever wanted here in one video, but you're going to get it because we always go a little bit above and beyond and a little bit crazy. Okay, so now it's time to click done view site and your site will be transformed into a real website. Super cool. You get all these features and talk about having some cool pages to show the world. So you now have an about me page that we made before. You also have a home page and an about me page from Astra. So I think this page might win the battle there. Um, again, you could totally make this on your own. Um, and you have all these other pages as well. That's the cool thing about Astra and Elementor. You get basically an example of what you could make and you can break it down on your own. So speaking of breaking it down now, how do we edit a page with our new page builder? Well, we can just navigate to the page like about me. Then at the top, you can click edit with Elementor. What you get now is a complete drag and drop WordPress page builder. We're going to say got it. And that just means you can choose any section that's on the page and drag it and move it. You can also hit Command or Control Z to undo changes you don't like. And of course, you can just click on top of some text and change it up. All right, and also you can change up background images. You just need to play around a little and click on the Settings button, which is the six dots. Got it. Then go ahead and hit Style, and you can change up any background image and replace it with your own image. Of course, everything can be changed and modified here. Just click on it and go ahead and edit it. Also, so you know a little bit more about Elementor, it's made of sections, which are these large blue boxes. And then inside sections, you have columns, which are these dotted boxes with the little black icon that looks like a book. You can click on that to edit a column, or you can click on the section settings to edit a section. And everything, of course, can be deleted if you right click on the pencil icon and click delete. Command Z. When you like your changes, just click update. And then of course, the last thing you're probably wondering is how do you create a new page? We have all these pages here, but how do we create a new page? Well, we can just go to our site in a new tab and we can hover at the top where it says new and click page again. But now this time we're a little bit more powerful. So now on the right, you can choose template of Elementor Canvas, which will give you the full Elementor tools without your header. So that generally comes without the logo or the nav menu. You'll have to make a logo or a nav menu on your own within Elementor. Or my favorite is the Elementor full width, which includes the header and the navigation menu. All right, those templates are super important when you create a new page, because if you keep default template, then you'll just be using the basic WordPress editor tools right here, like the title and the page paragraph editor. The final question I'll answer is if you want to remove an item from your menu tab up here, like about me, you can just go back to appearance menus. And once you're here, just open up the tab and click remove. And if you want to make a drop down, you can also indent the items like about me and classes could be under home. Then we could save and you'll see we now have a nice drop down menu when we visit our site. All right, guys. So I hope you learned a little bit there about how to create pages in WordPress, how to make pages come to life with a drag and drop page builder and where to put pages on your site so that it all looks good. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe if you learn anything here. Post a comment because I try to get back to everyone who writes a comment. Everyone who makes a WordPress blog or website deserves free help is our belief here. And uh, yeah, I'm Greg Ryan, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.